That's wild. All right, man. We good, though. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, party people. Y'all know what time it is. We bite. Do, we, do I need to spell it out? Listen. M A Z I. Yeah, I heard you. At least I thought I heard you. Anyway, listen. Mozzie's World. It's your boy Mozzie. Be back. This time, we're giving you a retro tape review the second second episode whatever you want to call it first and foremost i want to give each and every one of y'all a salute shout out to everybody that watched the g unit radio series on the first retro tape review y'all went crazy with the text phone calls all that telling me it was super dope from each and every phone call i could kind of gather all the information saying that it was an era you had to be there and with that being said this is another one of those mixtapes and I'm going to be talking about where it made a huge impact and the world had stopped. The only thing that was actually going was the computer on these file sharing sites, man. Whether it be your Morpheus, Kazaa, Winamex, BearShare, I'm saying Napster. I'm saying way too much right now because, listen, statute limitations and all that. Like... <laughs> when i first got the phone call you know what scratch that not only was there a phone call squirrels when i got hit on the aol instant messenger i got hit on aim saying yo it dropped i said no way I typed up the screen not only did it say CD1, not only did it say CD2, but it says CD3. I downloaded all three CDs and I'm like, yo, there's three CDs to this. I literally hit download on all three, all three CDs, because it was under all under one mixtape. When all of them were, were done downloading, it literally felt like I had the Infinity Stones, man. And then I go hear this. Mixtape Messiah. Oh, man. We doing this one? Yeah. Come in there, mixtape messiah. This is the day that they dread it. They say chameleon, don't let it get you upset. I'm upset if you need peace. You forget it. Go tell them the villain is coming. They know I'm the realest that run it. Color change gorillas, gonna run it. You gimmick niggas better pun it. Now it's too late. You done done it. No stingy label can rape me. Let's see how fast you reply since you thought I was getting lazy. And I heard it told me you shady. But you don't know it yet, baby. They told me everything about you, even though the name of your lady. Hey, did your girl go to JV? Guess what? I went there too, baby. If you thinking I can't expose your ass worse than this, then you crazy. Listen, you talk about making an impact, God, yo. Like, okay, so first, first and foremost, when I saw that there were three CDs, I'm like, come on now, dog. Come here, there is crazy for dropping three CDs under one mixtape. Not only was CD one jamming but of course it was no question or who he was going at like i was on the internet but i was not deep on the internet like this i never went to kamarinair.com and was checking the forms and to see the beef between him and mike jones i didn't know like i heard rumblings of it but it just it never like resonated to me i didn't care that much about it until this project and then when i heard this record <laughs> Good Dyke Jones just got wrecked. Bro, listen, this was come on, man. Like, like you had to be there. This was literally the soundtrack for a while. Every car I hopped into, this was playing. He wasn't, he was no longer Mike Jones for a minute. You know what I mean? Mike Jones literally had to do the, the run that he ended up doing in order to be called Mike Jones again. Because this was literally at the time when Houston was on the bubble. They were getting ready to pop. You know what I mean? Still tipping was out of here. Um, and it was literally at the time they were just handpicking artists to see who was up next. 
And of course, Swisher House, Mike Jones was the one that really got up out of here. Um, then Paul Wall, Slim Thug, and then Chameleon there. It's just crazy how all of this, like, leading up to Mixtape Messiah 2 even, you know what I mean? Like, how everything just went into order. Mike Jones was the first one out of here. He had the name, the phone number. You remember what it is? 281-330-8004. Let's call it. Can, can we call it? Let's call it. Let's see if it works still. 281-330-8004. Will Mike Jones pick up? Who? Mike Jones. The person you are trying to reach is not accepting calls. All that promotion, dog, just for the number to get <laughs> shut down. <laughs> if that means that that number is available, I want it. I want it for the Mozzie's World call-in number, bro. Yo, how much that number going for, you think? I don't know. We got to find out. We got to find out. I think when he was Sprint, I think Sprint's the one that took it down, too. Listen. I, I didn't know if it was Sprint or not. I don't know, but that's kind of a legendary moment when you, <laughs> you get a number taken down. Listen. <laughs> But anyway, back to Mixtape Messiah, man. I feel like I can't uh, review this this project alone, man. I gotta I gotta make a phone call. One of the homies, he doesn't even know what I'm calling him about, but this guy is the biggest millionaire fan I know. Let's see if he picks up. Hello, VP. What's up, man? You are live on Mozzie's World. Say what's up to the people. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? It's special. Listen, I appreciate it. Yeah, Shout out Mozzie World. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I, I had to hit you because I'm, I'm doing a mixtape review right now. Okay. And I feel like I can only talk to you about this because you you were with you were with me in this moment where, where time had stopped. The world had stopped except for our computers. Our computers are the only things that was running. What was the first reaction, the first feeling you felt when Commander's mixtape Messiah dropped? Talk about mixtape Messiah 1? Absolutely. Woo! Man, it was murder. Murder all she wrote, right? <laughs> I mean... No, I, no, I, this is what I wanted. I mean, this is what I wanted. Hey, Go ahead. To the like Jones. Jones. <laughs> like Jones. I mean... I, 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 there was no coming back from that. I, mean, I, I know Mike Jones dropped a little bit after that, but I mean, come on. Nah, it was, it was a funeral. Anybody that listened to Texas music, especially back then, I don't think any of us ever gained respect for Mike Jones after that. No, nah, n- not at all. Like, to this day, there's a couple of Mike Jones songs that I, I kind of dig, but every time I put it on the radio or I put it on my, on my Spotify, I always feel a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing a little bit of a You Got Wrecked earlier off of disc one, track three, and I was like, listening to this, and Kamir and it was just... Oh, it was bad for Mike for a minute, dog. It got ugly, and then he tried to drop King of the Streets, and it was already you know, over at that point. Most, mo- most, uh, multiple uh, <laughs> uh, discs. Uh, you know, diss track or diss, you know, tape, you know, what was it, what, three or four? Yeah, it was three, um, yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I was telling the people, man, I was like, yo, when you, uh, you hit me on the instant messenger on the, on the AIM, you know what I mean, saying that it dropped. Oh, back in the AIM, yeah, man. Yeah, what were you downloading it on? Uh, who, who was that? Uh, Win- Winamax. We were allegedly using Winamax to get the mixtapes. Oh, was it Winamax then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Le- allegedly. Allegedly using Winamax to get the mixtapes. At least in my opinion, I-, I don't think he ever really recovered in Texas. But I think outside of Texas, he did all right. You know, with, with back then, back then was a huge hit. Got him out the grave a little bit. But here in Texas, I don't think he never came back. I guess the question is, would you would you go to a, a Mike Jones concert after that? No, I wouldn't. Unfortunately. That back then was that, that whole was tight though. That was a good song. It, it was a good song, but it it was it was nothing compared to uh. Next time, Messiah. Yeah. Uh huh. Military man. And I mean that there. <laughs> that there. Yeah. <laughs> I, like that mixtape Messiah, his whole like that whole thing that like put him on the map. There. It really did. The impact that this tape had, bro, is just is phenomenal. I mean, I still play it today. L- listen, I-, I played it the other day while I was at work, and I'm like, yo, all three discs was jamming from disc one to the disc two, the chop the screw version. Shout out to OG <laughs> OG Ron C, best yeah. to ever do it. You know what I'm saying? And then disc three, the bonus stuff, even with Razak. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't do Razak. I, I, I be coming down. Yeah. I, 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 I be coming down. Come on, man. I'll ride with Razak on that one, but uh, you know how I feel about Razak. Shout out shout to Razak, man. All right, man. Well, I won't hold you up too longer, man. I just wanted to get your reaction to the mixtape of the first one and all that, man. Because I knew I had to call you. If I had to call anybody, it had to be you. 
Hey, man, I appreciate that. Shout out Monzi's World. Keep doing your thing. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, fam. I'll holler at you later. All right, fella. All right, peace. Not saying that I had a, a little side, you know, business at a time where I was making my little money doing mixtapes and whatnot, but... You know, this tape got me, it, it gave me a lot of cash, man. I will say that. Come in there if, uh. I wonder how you felt about that. He had to have known that this was gonna get bootlegged. Right? I, I think so, because this was at a time where file, the file sharing stuff was at an all time high. For sure, for everybody. And, 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 and I mean, I know later on in the mixtapes, he even shouted out like the bootleggers for, you know what I mean? Oh, did P- he? Okay. Pushing his tape. But he was like, if y'all would just do me a favor and go buy the album. Got you. Sound of Revenge, yeah. which I did go buy. Bro, and mind you, that's a whole nother thing, but Sound of Revenge was a. It was an event. It, it, that was another event too. And, and he and I guess I don't know. It was weird, man. Cause, Revenge, because it was <laughs> it was one of those things where it was like he's not from here, obviously from San right. Antonio, but it, we it, we almost claimed him because he was here so often. Absolutely. And shout out to uh, uh, famous. Yes. Who shout he, out to famous. Who, who he came back eventually, and scooped up and scooped up essentially, and and was his guy right. you know, during that run. I think signed Revenge and onto uh, Ultimate Victory. Ultimate Victory for sure. Uh, so yeah, man. But great tape. Yeah, no, it, it was a great tape. Great, great project. Mixtape aside, will forever be one of those legendary tapes. Where, like I said, when when time stops, time stopped. The only thing that was running was the computers. And I know maybe one hand I could count where the internet pretty much broke whenever a project dropped. Mixtape aside was one of them, and then J Cole's Friday Night Lights. But we'll. That's a, yeah. We gotta get to that on. We'll, we'll get to that. Yeah, because that that one broke the internet too. Yeah. That one was crazy But Mixtape Messiah 61 songs About 3 hours and 15 minutes Worth of music And disc 1 was a funeral And if you wanted to Replay the funeral again And slow it down You listen to CD2 With OG Ron C And you chopped and screwed it Or chopped up Not slopped up And then if that wasn't enough You'd pop in CD3 For the other Bonus records Including the one with him and Kanye Yeah Man, Bro, I was doing so much bad shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had no business doing that. Oh my man. god. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Then it cost some cars and girls that I know. No. Rockets in the building. Come on, man. This was a time. Y'all had to be there, man. Ah. Oh. Mixtape Messiah. If this wasn't in your CD deck or in your CD booklet, your CD changer, you was losing out here in these streets. You you didn't know what was going on. But big shout out to Commander. Listen, Commander, if I owe you some money, though, let's let's talk. <laughs> Fam, have you have you seen what he's doing these days? I don't think he cares. He's straight. He's straight. <laughs> <laughs> He is straight, boy. Nah, listen, man. Because like, 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 the, cause the bootlegging thing was crazy at one point, but I ended up allegedly becoming the man. If you needed a mixtape or a CD, I was that guy. Really, just mixtapes. I wasn't. I really wasn't bootlegging no albums. I'm just be honest with you. I really, I really was just really doing mixtapes because that's what everybody wanted. Everybody wanted mixtapes because that was the hottest thing out. Mixtapes were better than albums at one point. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Sure were. So, and this is proof. Mixtape Messiah. I highly rec. If you haven't heard it, people, I don't know where you've been, but if you want a piece of Texas history, Texas music history, nah, it, you know what? Nah, scratch that. This is Texas history, along with Absolutely. remember the Alamo, all that other BS. <laughs> yeah, nah, mixtape when mixtape. Absolutely, put when, in the, put in the history books. Put in the history books. Mixtape Messiah when it dropped. This was Texas history, man. <laughs> the assassination of Mike Jones. <laughs> The assassination of Mike Jones, man. That boy, that boy there. He never was the same. At least not here. Not here he wasn't. Camille went on to drop Sound of Revenge. Revenge! And that was it, bro. That was it. Mixed and then mixed him aside too. Dropped. <laughs> oh man, let me get up out of here, man. Listen, it's been your boy Mozzie. Like I said, mixtape Messiah. Y'all go check this out. If y'all haven't heard it yet, it's on all DSPs. How I don't know, but it's there. Spotify, Apple, title, all that stuff. Go play it there. And um, yeah, let let us know what you think. Did y'all have a story with Mixtape Messiah or any favorite moments, like like any recklessness y'all was doing in the streets? Because I know me, I was just riding around with the homies, going to house parties, and Lord knows what else was. I'm not about to say on camera. (laughs) (laughs) While this was in the deck, man. But leave y'all stories below in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. We appreciate the supporters that watch us each and every single Thursday. We love y'all. Until the next one, y'all take it easy, man. It's your boy Mozzie. Peace. Military man. Huh? Mm. Mozzie, so focused. I just need some meaning to my name. Plus, I'm cheating with these codes.